just want to know like what transpired like what can make someone anyone like so angry because i'm sitting here and i'm speaking to you guys and there's so much that you guys are doing for the community and you're pouring into these uh young men and so it's just like what can make something transpire like this first and foremost like what i want to do i want to apologize to everybody that was out there and okay. to the the parents of not just our team but mm -hmm. everybody everybody that was, that was affected like, by that, it. Yeah. that should have never happened mm -hmm. like we should have been able to sit down and talk like there's no reason we should be yelling at each other while a game right. going on like it's that shit it ain't none of that necessary and so Cam has an organization mm -hmm. it's not just one team he has an organization so it's just been a lot of trash talk you know from you know what I'm saying hit more so his side just out of nowhere just talking crazy to us for no reason it's like it's not nothing new like I've been around bro for five years so mm -hmm. like this typical Cam Newton behavior but Steph you was right there yeah, so oh, they you talking. You listening to the whole thing, so yeah, you heard yeah. him and you walked up. So Steph see. walk up there, oh, okay. What's the, and as I'm know? walking up with Steph, Cam is in Steph's face. I made y'all responsible for everything y'all do, whatever. The, then he grabs Steph. Okay. So me being my little brother, and I'm walking up a flight of steps, and I see a 6'6 six, six guy grabbing my brother. And that's the footage that everybody that's sees. That's what everybody's seeing. Okay. Like, so that was the first altercation yeah, that everybody nothing, saw. Nothing, nothing else right ever happened him. before okay. that. Nothing else ever happened. Nobody's seeing like how he was... Talking crazy, talking crazy this, like the past that. two days, like yeah. nobody's seen that. Like, oh man, so I'm pretty sure by now you guys have seen the whole altercation with Cam Newton with them dudes trying to jump on that dude back, and it was looking like man, a big cousin playing with his little cousins, just man handling them all, going stupid out there. But uh, the internet did his job and they found one of the guys that Cam Newton was disragging. So the dude with the dress that sucker punched Cam happens to be top shelf TJ. He looks to be a trainer and also before the fight, some videos have surfaced with him slick rapping, talking about Cam. Check this out right here. Hey, Joe. Ooh. Hey, Joe. Hey, man, I'm going to say it. They can't hide the film now. You know what I'm saying? That three times. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not throwing that none, throwing that Atlanta hero quarterback. <laughs> Just cannot chill, beat me. Can't be so the smoke was already in the air. It was already in the air, now. So we seen how things played out from that point. But today, today, that man is issuing an apology saying on behalf of Top Chef Performance, we would like to completely apologize for our actions earlier and getting beyond our character. We are deeply concerned about the recent incident involving Cam Newton. And our thoughts are with all parties affected. Violence has no place in our community and we strongly condemn any form of aggression. At Top Shelf Performance, we are committed to fostering a safe and inclusive environment for everyone associated with our organization. Our values are centered around respect and collaboration and making sure every kid and player thrives to be better that's around us. We take any deviation from these principles seriously. We are actively addressing this matter internally and working towards a resolution that aligns with our commitment to creating a positive space for our team and clients. We appreciate your understanding and want to reassure our community that something like this will never happen again. We remain dedicated to upholding the highest standards of professionalism and integrity and will continue to help and grow with the players in the community. All right, so that's from Top Shelf TJ right here. He looks to be receiving a lot of support in the comment section. So we're going to see how this go now. A lot of conversation has been going on. You know, I know some people were perceiving to um the people that cam was fighting with was was players but no they were coaches he was he was squabbling up with some coaches so those were grown men that he was making look like little kids and it made it look even worse but uh there's been a lot of conversations i'm gonna let y'all hear from rg3 rick ross and plies of all people has something to say if you guys don't remember uh rick ross and plies play football on a collegiate level and plies went to miami of ohio so check them out right here on another note I saw that footage of Cam Newton. You got to give that boy props. That hat ain't never came off. That hat ain't never came off. Fuck all that stand 10 toes down. Nah, that hat got bobby pins, nigga. Hey, just real quick, man. Y'all got to excuse my voice. I think I'm losing it, uh, getting a little under the weather. But um, this post about the, I think the clip, I think it was yesterday, um, that went viral at the 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament. And I said, man, what's always interesting to me about my people is how we play so shocked, surprised, and delusional when certain things happen. I don't know if it started off this way, 7-on-7, seven -seven, but when I got with for 7-on-7, seven -seven, I've always said and always labeled it, as, labeled it as disrespectful ball or dysfunctional ball. When I got with for 7-on-7, seven -seven, I said, oh, okay, I get it. This is where all the kids come every offseason to be able to do everything that they couldn't do 
during the regular season. You can go do the backward flips. You can catch the hitch and spin the ball. You can catch a touchdown and defend the walking off. You can run behind him and hump him and everybody. Oh! The, more, the more disrespectful you can be, the more coverage you get and the more viral it goes. The coaches, disrespectful to the other coaches. They disrespectful to the kids. 40 some year old men talking to 15, 16, 17, 18 year old kids like they 40. The kids disrespectful to the other players. Everybody disrespectful to the officials. The fans disrespectful to the players. The players disrespectful to the fans in most cases, not all. But it's a toxic environment that was created by adult men. The majority who look just like me and you. And the dysfunction and the disrespect was so popular amongst everybody involved, the parents, the players, and the coaches, that it became a thing. But the minute the disrespect and the dysfunction go too far, then we dive online and say, man, I can't believe they did. But everything about it has been disrespectful from the beginning. And the majority of the coaches, parents, and players have fed into the disrespect and the dysfunction. But the minute it go too far, oh, we play so shocked, crazy, and surprised. But how could this happen? Jumping Jehoshaphats, what are we doing, people? I mean, Cam Newton just got in a fight at a seven-on-seven -seven tournament called We Ball Sports 7-on-7. Seven -seven. And my first reaction was like, okay, let me watch this fight. Like, Cam Newton, 6'6", 260 pounds, got like seven dudes trying to fight him. And uh, yeah, he holds his own. Not only that, first of all, Cam Newton's an absolute unit. I mean, if you've ever been around the guy, you know he's a big human being. So you got to understand that it's going to take more than one guy to try to take this guy down. But not just that. Cam got sucker punched. He got sucker punched in the side of the face and took it like a G. Ended up putting one dude in the headlock, fighting off the other guys without really throwing any punches. And like, I'm amazed. I'm most amazed that his hat didn't even move at all i mean not one inch so the fact that these dudes tried to jump cam newton obviously didn't go well and he's wearing this hat that must be tattooed to his face or something tattooed to his hair stitched in that bad boy i don't know but it didn't move at all that's my first reaction we talking about the same cam newton that took a 2010 auburn team to the national championship game and won that bad boy after winning the heisman trophy my husband brother and that team only had one offensive lineman play even start an nfl game and it had zero skill position guys that recorded a catch a rushing attempt or a passing attempt you're talking about a legendary dude who has always known how to put the team on his back like that and be a one-man army it's just what he does so that was my first reaction I'm like kudos to cam you know handled his own handled his business but my second reaction is more so about the overall impact it has and i absolutely hate it you're talking about a seven on seven tournament where we should be talking about how great the athletes are and how great the performances were. But instead, we're now talking about Cam Newton getting jumped by dang near seven dudes from the TSP crew, which is a team that was competing in the event. We're all lacking on the details of exactly what went down, why it happened, but the overall impact and the damage from that standpoint has already been done. I just look at this situation and I say, we as a community have to be better than this. We are so much better than this. I hate seeing this type of stuff because it feels like in our own community, I, and I, I am talking about the black community, we tear each other down more than we lift each other up. When you look at a guy like Cam Newton, he's been doing remarkable things through his foundation to help give back to the youth. I can't speak fully on, on on his behalf of what he is doing but i know i have seen it and i know when i've talked to quarterbacks across the country they've worked with cam newton and i know that he's trying to give back to his community there in atlanta so when we have these types of things break out at a seven on seven tournament that's about competition and having fun and now all we're talking about is people in our own community attacking each other in this way it's not just a bad look how are we supposed to rise up? How are we supposed to lift up our own communities and change the narrative if this is what we're doing all the time and going viral doing it? It's not just about going viral in this world, man. I understand the digital social media age, 
But sometimes it's about acting like you got some home training. Acting like you know what to do and how to operate in a public setting for the betterment of everybody. And that's what I'm not seeing from this right here. We got countless examples of this and we gotta stop it. We gotta be so much better. Okay, so that's what them fellas gotta say, man. Um, Listen, when Cam was walking out of that fight and he said, I got something for you, that's when you pack shit up right there. That's when something happens after that point. I believe this was in Atlanta too. Yeah, yeah. Where I'm from in Miami, stuff like that. Fights that, like, you know, Optimus Parts, Pop Warner, Pee Wee. Fights could easily turn into shootings. Easily, especially, you know, these coaches be having money on the games with the parents and stuff. Y'all seen what happened with the situation with um, Aqib Tlaib's brother? Y'all, man, that happens. That happens. My first shooting that I ever witnessed or heard of, whatever, was at Optimus Park. Bunch Park down here in Miami, man. But, hey, dog, y'all stay safe out here. As of now, I haven't seen Cam Newton say anything, but his platform did put out this right here. And this is um, him going in on Mark Phillips, dog, saying Duke Dennis uh, proceeded to go off against Mark Phillips' Supreme Dreams in the, in the Super Bowl flag game. Watch this clip right here. I heard it's a little rivalry between y'all and AMP. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Duke is in the flag football. Now, people were watching the last flag football game, and they're they going to get mad at me talking about some RG3 was playing his heart out like he's trying to make the NFL again. But just because he helped on like two plays, I, I was locking them you down. You were locking them down. I was locking them down. Hey, it's okay. It's I ain't okay. worried about it. I'm going to just lock them down tomorrow. No, Ooh, you ain't. You going to do what? I'm going to just lock them down tomorrow. Put the people in the back. What you I'm say? I'm going to just lock them down tomorrow. Who you going to lock down tomorrow? Duke Dennis. Uh, Put the name Dennis. on it. Duke Dennis. <laughs> So Mark responds saying, yo, what the funk, Cam? Why you edit this video like this? Stop playing on me. But I seen the video recently, so I'm gonna let you make it this time. <laughs> oh man, but hey, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.